several years ago, I embarked on the biggest project of my life. An in-depth video essay turned into a motion visual experience based on The Shining, originally crafted by the brilliant online persona known as Mastermind. This project consumed hundreds of hours. And now, after years of it being hidden from the public, I am thrilled to start releasing it on this channel. In an unusual twist, Mastermind removed his content from the internet, leaving fans with only one way to access his insights, the Wayback Machine. Through this archive, I was also able to retrieve fragments of his analysis on Eyes Wide Shut. Although this essay isn't as detailed as his work on The Shining, I'm excited to bring both analyses back to life in visual form. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy this revival of Mastermind's fascinating work. Bill Harford is lured to a ceremony that he unwittingly certifies as a ritual. An ingenious series of visual gags, minus Kubrick's up to release date edit. Eyes wide shut his package with the name that tells anyone that walks under the marquee, you're awake yet asleep. You may watch every frame, but you'll see practically nil. This is a film without a final cut. Moviegoers are essentially forced to find the film within its potential trims. How long was Eyes Wide Shut to be? Likely not a few hours and 39 minutes. On the eve of 2001's premiere, the director cut a 12-minute prologue, three days after The Shining release. Kubrick cut a for minute coda, forcing projectionists across the US to become his personal, local assistant editors. He tinkered up to, even after, the very last minute. Kubrick, the ultimate technician of phenomenologic storytelling, requires a tactical audience to become conscious of his practice.
Observation between continuity assembles into a highly rigorous story, made of allegorical elements which pose an alternate, hidden parallel story to the apparent narrative. He makes cognitive science instructional films. Fiction is organized through exacting non-fiction. Although many types of visuals litter his films with its story, the visual weenies of the film are the missing women, or is it just a woman surrounded by anonymously similar bodies, some with faces, others without, some later simply mentioned in passing. These bodies metaphysically exchange with two of Alice's passages, her memory and her dream, the dream itself metaphorically linked in many ways to Alex's dreams of Clockwork Orange. The psychologist would code this an I sum of, which somehow matches Bill's journey beat for beat. Even phone calls seem prishant rather than coincidental, Kubrick is not a director that cowers in coincidence. There are both rational and metaphysical explanations for every connection in his films. Yet, finding them is not the point and may be implausible. Knowing they exist provides the audience with depth below the mundane machination. Becoming aware of the means your eyes are opening. The stories, the basic one we think we watch and the secret one we cannot easily see, merge and slowly become whole over time after repeat viewings. That threshold, whether things are seen or not, is where the film gains its psychic power. Kubrick, as in his other films, drops bland, mostly hidden mirrors everywhere, then splits them with continuity shifts. Just watch Domino post Kiss, the tightest shot of the film. She seems to know Harford's name without Bill ever mentioning it, and slyly Kubrick reverses the tiger on her bed. Disturbances in continuity employed as mirrors are his keys, of course. was that Mrs. Dr. Bill, she purrs from the other side. What is eyes wide shut about? The ritual enslavement of the moon that gave meaning to present-day religion, 